You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? The rules are the rules. I don't get to make them, I just enforce them. Bull shit. You give favors all the time. I know you do. Yeah. Well, I think I ran out. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Huffin Puffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. You can start talking. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. 
It might work. Is there more to this business with Crane? You gave me the key to room 204. You put me on to Crane. Is there something I'm missing here? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Are you telling me my friends are involved? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know... I want to help, but... But... It's okay. Take your time. I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It was... It is beautiful. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Can't we just take the ribbon off? No! The lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off... If anyone finds out I came here... That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... trouble. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Sorry, I just need to talk to the Sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Oh, wait, you don't have to go. That was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're... 
scared about what's been going on. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure they called for a reason. Suppose I better go check it out. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? Stirring the pot? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen. I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? Who's at the door? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes. Let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. You run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course. keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort... ...little thing. Do you... Shit. You... I wasn't sure you'd be... ...you know, around. Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Puffin' Puffs. Not many people smoke those. This out. Thanks. All I'm saying is we can handle this on our you own. We can start Didn't talking. We're out of money. There's and not a lot that I can talk that's about. Why I called. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work. Huh. What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. We'll talk. We'll talk. Hmm. Talk about living in the past. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know.
What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. Well, what kind of trouble are you in?